Hi there, Cancer, Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2020 Love Monthly Forecast. Reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, May is a very important month for each and every one of us, not only for humanity and the world as a whole, but even with our personal lives. So, um, with this reading, I hope that it gives you insight and clarity to your own situation. Please do know, and just a big reminder to everyone, that not everyone is going to connect and tune in with the reading. It does not mean that this is going to be for every Cancer out there. This is definitely going to uh, resonate to a few of you who feels connected with the reading and it's going to be very very much random and to have a specific reading just for you you will need to go to your trusted reader or get a reading with me um, and book a session from my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. so again this goes for all of you cancers out there sun moon and rising sign without any further ado let's get on with the reading so for a lot of cancers, this might be a month wherein it might trigger a lot of your emotions and you might really go into memory lane um, during this month. We do have the Nine of Swords over here uh, representing the emotional status and how you are right now. So the Nine of Swords at the present state um, crossing over with the Ten of Cups gives us a lot of concern with our emotional life and our fears and anxiety as a whole as well. And notice that we also have the Tower card on top of the reading. This gives me a feeling we're in maybe you are very concerned. There could be something upsetting that has occurred in your life. Or maybe you are just becoming really depressed um, for various reasons. Maybe something upsetting, disappointment, or maybe there was a relationship um, that is brooding in your mind that was unsatisfying. Uh, some form of memory could be creeping up on you or maybe um, things of the past are being reminded mm, giving you some form of memory um, that gives a sharpening knife to your own wound which have not yet completely healed so um, uh, regardless how this might go this entire reading is definitely going going to say something about your emotions and the negative side of what you are feeling this could be a situation wherein maybe you are overly concerned about something and maybe you are there is something that you are scared about or some form of misunderstandings or confusion are creeping up in your mind it doesn't mean that it is exactly um, it doesn't mean that there's actually a specific problem it could also be that you're just having some form of panic attack anxiety attack that is you know um, going over your mind right now it doesn't mean that the relationship is a mess it just means that your fears is getting the better of you which is not exactly a good thing it is very much possible though that you are being affected by your own surroundings so it is going to be very important that you know you you learn how to protect yourself because cancer people are very empathic very psychic as well and they can be like pisces you know they can be a sponge as well so they can absorb um and get affected by all of the drama in the world what is happening happening around us with, with your own surroundings and with your own um community all at the same time so you might be picking up a lot of things and this might be being triggered to your own personal life as well it doesn't mean that it is you know something that you are dealing with yourself so there are many things that can um, trigger why we have all of this worrisome energy over here 
but with this reading i kind of feel that um there is something in your mind that was not satisfying you and it has a lot to do with your own past you may want to move forward though but it seems as if there are either you have a lot of regrets or there is a recent lover or a recent relationship that is still in your mind and still in your heart that maybe you thought you have forgotten about it but in reality you haven't and it's still in your you know deepest core of you emotionally definitely so um, maybe you're trying to uh, to persist or to control yourself to control the temptation to you know to do something about a failed love that has occurred in your life trying not to communicate with that person trying trying to be okay by yourself but i kind of feel that within the month of may you will come to realize how much you are craving for love how much you are craving for attention for care for love and for a relationship you are care you are having that need to bond with someone and not just bond with someone randomly you are wanting to bond with someone that you truly truly care about and that you really really love and you might show the world that you are okay that you are confident that you are um that you are happy now but it seems as if you know what is on the surface is quite different from what you are truly feeling inside of you so i guess i would warn a lot of you guys to be careful of your mental health well not really mental health but your emotional health basically because um yeah like i said you are trying to shoulder everything the burden the the pressure uh, emotional stuff all inside of you without even sharing what you truly feel to anyone so if you have a friend around you i think that it is really a nice thing to be able to speak your mind to at least express what you truly feel because um, if you are keeping everything inside of you this is going to affect a lot of your own health with your mental health as well and with how you um how you how you make relationships with people in your present life can be very much affected because of your own disappointments from the past so i feel that you know you need to sort this out sort out your own feelings there's a lot of internal stuff that is going to be happening inside of you maybe this will help you learn a lesson from the past or this might make you realize something find out something that you did not really know or figured out before that kind of situation so what we are being shown here is that you are going to come into terms of you know at the crossroads and what's going to happen is that there is some form of um, an answered thing in the past that will gain some form of answer in the future that is really the the journey that i'm picking up here you are doing your best and you're trying to overcome the adversity is what being shown here there is a chance for you to maybe to rekindle with someone in the past that that is definitely for sure especially with this three of cups over here you have a lot of past energies and with the three of cups over here and the three of swords coming all together there are still fear of the past but um what is really being shown here is that you might receive some form of news from someone who has hurt you you might receive some form of news rekindle something from the past it does not mean that you know it's going to be a happily ever after though there is a chance for that but you know i'm not making any promises for this reading what i uh, what i do see here is that it is very unexpected and it will come in as a surprising thing to receive this form of message 
What you do with that message or how that message goes through is another story. It's just telling us here that you know you still have unfinished business and this might be the month we're in. You might need to sort out that unfinished business. Where is this really going? Where is it gonna lead? Are you still going to continue this love story of yours? Or are you now ready to move on to a new chapter or a new book in your life? That Those are really the questions that might get answers at this time. It is going to eventually lead you to a new form of beginning, to a new form of, of chapter that will give you some form of balance. So whatever power struggle that has been happening in your life recently, um, something is definitely going to happen within the month of May that can, you know, give you some form of resolve that indecisiveness and being wishy-washy is not really going to serve you any good anymore. If there is some form of communication that needs to happen, that needs to go through, it's something that you and the other person will eventually need to sort out that kind of situation definitely there's going to be some form of refreshing news that you can expect where this um where this um communication or message is gonna go again is another story the most important thing here is that there is going to be a sharing a heart-to-heart -heart conversation discussions between you and this person which can be, you know, which can trigger a lot of emotional trauma and can heal you emotionally all at the same time. So um, it's going to be a very emotional month for a lot of cancers out there. But I do believe that this, whatever it is that you are about to um, encounter during this time, it will give you a sense of emotional security and emotional relief, um, which is going to be really, really good. You might get connected again with someone that you have lost touch before. Mm, maybe you can become friends again, or maybe you can give things another try. Um, it's not really giving us um, the result of what might happen, but it's giving us a sense of opportunity to to say what you truly feel, to clear out misunderstandings of the past, and to realize things that we did not realize before. And this is the entire reading that I'm picking up for you guys, Cancers out there. I do hope that this reading um, you guys will find insightful and I hope it gives you clarity that you need and again if you if you are wanting um, a personal reading with me just go to my website in the stars by Chrissy.com oh and before I forget um, this is definitely it, this is definitely on a positive note like you know something uncertain you are deciding between two things and you are going to make a decision that is leading to the future that is most beneficial to you regardless whether that is to move on from a relationship or to rebuild a relationship that kind of thing i do hope that my message has come across to a lot of you guys and i'll see you guys again next month